After understanding the rotation matrix and the Euler angles, let's talk how we can use sensor readings to estimate roll pitch and yaw angles. And let's start from the accelerometer. An accelerometer is a sensor that measures the acceleration in three axes on the body frame. We also have gravity, a universal force acting everywhere. It means that we can denote the accelerometer readings in the following way. We have the acceleration in, in three axes minus the projection of, of the gravity force. Uh, but if we assume that there is no any acceleration, we can imply that accelerometer readings possess the negative values of the projection of the gravity force. So we have minus gx, minus gy, and minus gz. On the inertial frame, we can denote the gravity in a following way. 0, 0, G vector, because the gravity is aligned with the z-axis of the inertial frame. Next, we can relate the, the accelerometer readings and, and, the, and the gravity using the rotation matrix, based on our assumption, of course. So we have the rotation matrix and the 0, 0, G uh, vector in the inertial frame, and on, on the body frame, we have the minus values of the accelerometer readings. If we write an equations for, for each axis, we, we get these three equations. And next, we can normalize the accelerometer readings uh, with respect to the gravity. So we have lowercase x, ey, and az. And using these expressions, we, we can substitute these expressions, and we get these three really important equations. From the equation 1, we can compute sine of theta. And if we take the ratio of equation 2 and equation 3, we have tangent of phi, tangent of uh, pitch angle. And then finally, we can estimate theta and phi. Theta is either equal to arc, arc sine of ax or pi minus arc sine ax. In the first case, we have the positive cosine theta. In, this, in the second case, we have the negative cosine theta. Uh, based on, on the sine of cosine theta, we have different values for phi. In the first case, we have arctangent 2 a minus and a z. Arctangent 2 is a similar function to arctangent, but we take into account the sine of both arguments when determining the result. This is uh, really important because if we have, for instance, an angle alpha, and if we can compute the tangent of pi plus alpha, we get the exact result as the tangent of alpha. So in order to distinguish these two cases, we have two arguments. Uh, this argument, uh, this uh, diagram clearly shows that. Uh, for example, if we have a y and a z both positive, we have this angle, let's say alpha. But if both of them are negative, we have pi plus alpha. But in both cases, we have exact same results as tangent. In, in our course, we assume that cosine theta is always positive. So we use these two equations when estimating pitch and roll angles. Finally, we can summarize that accelerometer readings allow us to measure uh, estimated values of roll and pitch and uh, pay attention to the word estimated. We, we don't know the actual values of roll and pitch because we don't know the sign of cosine theta, but we just assume that this is positive. Next, we will implement these equations to estimate roll and pitch using the accelerometer readings.